Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad. Uh, in this video, I want to share a very quick but very useful tip for you. It is just announced today, adding data limit to your visuals in Power BI, which would help in the performance of your reports. Let's go and see how this works. Okay, this feature I'm showing to you is announced just today and uh, for using that you have to have the latest version of Power BI Desktop. Uh, for me this is version of August 2024. If you watch this video in the future this should be already available over there. Uh, when you have a uh, report, in your report you have some visuals. One of the problems that we have with the performance is that when that visual has a lot of records, like for example a lot of values showing in that visual, for example if this be a table visual with the sales amount for every single customer, let's bring the full name of the customer, now I have like 18,000 customers and this is a big uh, table. You may want it or you may not want to have all of these. Behind the scene, this is fetching all of those details and would cause some performance implication on the model that this runs. This might be uh, even the Power BI semantic model that you do on import, but still it has a lot of value. Same thing applies when you have a map visual or any other visuals. It would be good to limit this returned number of rows that you want to do. And that is the feature that they just announced today. Very useful feature, very small uh, little thing, but a big help uh, feature. So to use that, first you have to select the visual, go to the filters on the visual, and then select this more options. And then you'll see add data limits right over there. And uh, when you click on it, um, you basically just have like this, you enter the value, the, that would be the number of rows you want this to, to fetch. If it is a map, you may just want to have 100 data points. If it is, um, for example, this visual, I may just want to have like 15 rows uh, returned. And this would be always 15 rows, even if I have, let's say, a slicer for um, different things, by selecting that slicer, this always returns me 15 of those rows, which is quite helpful because uh, then in case that you have a big uh, data set, you don't have to worry about the performance implication of a table or matrix visual, especially this happens a lot on table and matrix visuals, uh, because this is not just to show it, it is also changing the query sent to the semantic model. When I go and go to the optimize, uh, Enable performance analyzer, start recording, and let's just refresh the visuals. Stop it. Now on the table, I just want to show you what this looks like. I'll open that in the DAX query editor view, which if you haven't used it, is such a fantastic uh, tool to use. This is showing the DAX query that that visual generates to send to that um, semantic model in this case as a source. And within this visual, you see that the top N15 is already added. So it is not the visual only. That visual generates the script. This change that you make helps with that script. Definitely a great feature to add, especially useful for situations that you have a big model and you don't want to fetch all the data. This is also you can something you can enable on your Direct Lake, Marks of Fabric Direct Lake models. The only thing that I noticed, and that is perhaps just a, a temporary thing, is that the reports that you build inside the Power BI website at the moment don't have that option. So if you have this visual and when you go here, you don't see that filter data, but I think that is coming very soon in the uh, in the model, um, uh, sorry, in the website editor, because if I create a report with live connection, this is a report actually with live connection to a Power BI semantic model, and that semantic model underneath is using Direct Lake. So with this, I do have that data limit. So this means that you can use it on the models with the uh, with the Direct Lake functionality. I haven't tested it for Direct Query. It should work on that as well, which would make it much uh, more useful. So really simple thing, very useful, very helpful. I would highly recommend everyone to go and check it out, how this is working, uh, and then use it in, in your model to have a better performance in your uh, Power BI report. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Microsoft Power BI 
and fabric. Until the next video, bye!